Welcome back. So let's talk about Aristotle's four causes on page 257 of the article. So there are four causes. Material cause, efficient cause, formal cause, and final cause. And they say, why is this a house? Okay. So an example of material cause is you could say this is a house because of the materials that went into building it. So if it's made out of brick, stone, and rock, and has a roof, it's probably a house, okay, because of what went into it. An example of efficient cause is the house is what it is because of the people, masons, bricklayers, and so forth, who actually built it, their skills, care, and so on, efficient cause. So anything a mason, builder, or bricklayer is building, it must be a house. The house is what it is because of the architect's plan. That's an example of formal cause. The architect designed it to be a house, so it is a house. And the house is what it is because of the people who own it and live in it, whether they wish to raise children or have wild parties there, for example, will determine what the house is. That's final cause or teleology, and that is where we look at effectuation. An object or a piece of material is what it is because of the way people choose to use it, because of the different contingencies, right? You know, I could make a tent my house. I could make an apartment my house. I could make a castle my house because I choose to use it as a house. In fact, I could sleep on a street corner and that could also be an example of me having a house because I choose to make that street corner my house. Now, um, you know, I could take bricks and stone and all that other stuff and do all sorts of wild and crazy things with it and I could call it a house because I, of the materials, but you might not call it a house. That's where material cause breaks down. The efficient cause is the same thing. Masons, bricklayers, and so forth can build all sorts of things. They can build a house, they can build an office building, they can build a hut, they can build a bar dominium, a shed, they can build all sorts of things. So not all those things they build are houses. The house is what it is because of the architect's plan, the formal cause. Well, the architect could design a castle to be a house, but it could actually become a fortress. And that's where the formal cause breaks down. But if you're using it as a house, chances are it's at least a house to you. And that's kind of how this moving um, moving contingency uh, thing is talking about. E many things can become my house because I choose to designate them as my house and I choose to utilize them as my house. Um, yeah. So let's look in the next video of the propositions. But before I get to that, she talks about um, yeah, I'll talk about this in the next video. We'll, we'll talk about propositions in the next video. As always, give me a thumbs up if you like it. Comment down below. Make sure you subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.